Now, I've been seeing someone uh, new. I've been seeing someone for about six months, and uh, I'm 36 years old, and I gotta say, this is as early into a relationship as I've ever thought about marriage. And I think it's a combination of being this age and uh, a little bit of fear. Like, I think, I think I'm, what I'm afraid of is being 40 and being like, that's my girlfriend, you know? <laughs> Like, I wanna be 40 and be like, that is my ex-wife. <laughs> now we're moving in in a couple months. It's really exciting. Uh, we're, we are, we're moving in in a couple months. Um, I am honestly completely uh, in love with her <sighs> apartment. So it's time to do it, you know, time is now. And it's great to be off dating apps. It really is. Um, I, was on, I was on all the dating apps, and then I was in like a three-year relationship, and then I was back on the apps, and they had changed so much in those three years that like I got back on Tinder, and Tinder had turned into just like the gross, dirty, sex hookup site. So like, I like that one. But the other ones, it's like, where do you even start? They got so specific. Like, everyone has a hook now. Like, Bumble is the one where the woman messages you first. And then Christian Mingle is specifically for Christian people. And Black People Meet is specifically for black people. And J-Date is specifically for Jews. And uh, Farmers Only is the most specific thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm sure you've seen the commercials for it. I can't even believe it's real. Farmers Only. When I'm on a dating app and I see that someone lives more than two miles away, I'm like, hell no, never gonna work. Why do they even bother? I don't know a lot about farms, but I know that they are a thousand miles long and traveling by tractor is very slow. So I don't even know how they make that one work. I'm gonna make the most specific dating app known to man. I am, I'm gonna team up with an app developer and make the most specific dating app. It's going to be just for roofers, okay? That's how specific it's gonna be. Just for people who work for roofing companies and it's gonna be called Shingle and Ready to Mingle. Ready for it? Coming soon. Don't have to use condoms anymore. That's a great thing. They're not the worst thing in the world, but it's nice to not have to use them. To me, I think having sex without a condom is like driving without GPS. You know, like, it takes a little extra concentration, but I'll get there eventually. And even if you don't, you know, at least you went for a nice drive. <laughs> <laughs> 